And the store? What kind of store? An old store? <laughs> Maybe. Who else has an idea? Right there. Mm -hmm. A magazine? That's a good idea. The red sweater. On a computer. On a computer. That's very good. Where else? Old what? On an old computer? <laughs> On an old book? Where, is it? Where do you find old books? At the library. That's where you should always start. Or the internet. You can start there too. The library is a really great place to start. Where else? On my phone? <laughs> No, I didn't look on my phone. <laughs> right there with the black shirt. Anywhere outside. Um, maybe. Okay, one more. Who has an idea? Mm hmm? Find pictures. Mm hmm. That's right. Well, those are all good suggestions. Okay, put your hands down. So that's. Basically what I did, I looked on a computer, on the internet, I looked at the Library of Congress, I went to the library, I looked at the movies, or old photographs. So here are all, all the people that are going to be in the painting. I find those pictures of them, there's the umpire, the batter, here the uniforms, the picture, and then there's my picture. Then I have to find a model. Where do you where do you find a model? I know a guy. He works. He's great. He works free. He works all hours of the day. What's so funny? Yeah, that's me. That's me. So all I did was I got an old uniform and then I put my camera on a tripod and hit the timer and I ran in front of it. I'm waiting for to take a picture. It's really lame, but it saves a lot of money. So then I put those, take all of those things, so there's my arm, there are my legs, there I am as the umpire, and I take all those pictures, I cut them out, and I tape them on, onto my um, canvas that I'm working on, and then I put them all together. It's kind of like a really big puzzle. Does anybody like to do puzzles? I love puzzles. So that's what I have to do for every painting. Every painting. And all these paintings took about seven and a half years to do. Is anybody in here seven? Yep. <laughs> that's how long it took. So we don't have a whole lot of time. I, I heard that you guys have some questions. I'd love to answer any questions that you might have. Here's one. Watch your stand up and tell us your name. And ask a question, nice and loud. Oh, right up here, Peter. Use your outside voice. How do I make... Of any book? How do you make the front cover of any book? How do you make the cover? Well, I just make the painting for the cover, and then the painting is photographed and they put it in the computer, and then the art director, who's like the graphic designer at the publisher, they'll have it in their computer, and they'll put the words, and put all the lines and design it together. This book, we wanted it to look like, like an old, a combination of old Coca-Cola ads, and Hershey bar ads. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. A very good question, right here. That's right, I'm at home. I am, um, let's see. There I am, that's me in my very small studio. I have a bigger studio now, but I was working in my, in my studio, so, um, and you see there's a painting behind me. I'll show you another example. This is of Jackie Robinson. Oh, you guys know, did you see this one out there? Yeah. Yeah, this is the sketch for that one. And for each one of these, I had to find out a lot of things. I had to find out who was playing that day, their jersey numbers, their 
tight weight for their right and left handed. All those things are very important. There are pictures of uh, Jackie Robinson. There's my model. He was great. <laughs> See, there's a painting behind me, and it's all sketched out on the canvas, just with pencil first, and now we'll paint over that. Um, let's see, who else has a question? Right here. Mm -hmm. My name is Jordan, and do you have a sketchbook on me now? I do, but it's empty. It's a new one, so there's nothing in it yet. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, I do have some work to do. <laughs> no, I came here once before. I don't remember the year. But I came with some other um, children's book authors and illustrators. But it's always fun to come back here. I see. In the back there, the braids. No, I don't paint every day. I try to draw every day. Because, you know, if, if you want to be good, remember I told you if you want to be good at something, you have to do a lot. And if you fall out of practice, then you won't be as good. So I want to I wanna be good. I want to be better, so I practice every day. Okay, right here with the striped shirt. Why did I want to be an artist? I don't know. <laughs> That's like asking me why I like jello. I just like it. I always really liked um, to draw. When I was a little boy, I just loved it. It made me happy. And I think it's something that I was meant to do. It's like if there's something that you really like a lot, like you think about it when you wake up in the morning and you think about it when you go to sleep, then that's probably what you're supposed to be doing. And I think about drawing and art when I wake up and when I go to bed. One more. Who hasn't asked a question? Green shirt. Um, and I hope you enjoy my talk.